Hey guys, Poop on the Way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Kevin. I'm Jake. And we're back with Dan to Dan, where last time we lost our balls. Yep. Well, we didn't lose our balls last time. We lost our marbles. We found that we lost our balls. <laughs> yeah, we time. found our balls. Nice. Turbo, Turbo Granny lost them after she stole them. We found our balls were missing and been lost. Yeah. So where are, where are they? Somewhere that Turbo Granny was in the past day. Or two. Uh, but that knows? was inside... That was inside... That was inside Ken. Well, I did theorize that they the could be inside of Inside him. Ken? Yeah. Um, but... And they just got to drop. They got chased through the city. So they got to go around and like, Hey, have you seen my nuts? Got any nuts? Got any nuts? <sighs> All right, well... We found where the balls are. Yep. Yep. Um, and we at least are built up for a fight against an evil spirit thing. A lot yeah. of build up in the balls. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of life. Yeah. In those balls. Gave the other girl spiritual life. The scroat toe. Life. Yeah. When the balls yep. just fell right on her head. Yeah. Yeah. And then she was rubbing the rubbing <laughs> it on <laughs> ISA. Yeah. Mama's face. Yeah. Which really, if you have someone else's balls, what good are they but to, you know. Rub it in somebody else's face. I got somebody else's balls. <laughs> that's what you would do. I, what do you got? <laughs> I don't know what I would do in that situation. I don't know if that's the first thing. Your I thing got. isn't even like you have them by the balls. Just you literally have their balls. No, I don't know. I oh, just, okay. Okay. Making a joke. <laughs> like, Why you got some? <laughs> I uh, I enjoyed the aspect of, I guess, not realizing that she's super cute and. Until he is told that she's super cute, and then he's like, "I've never thought about her being super cute. Oh my god, she's super cute! I can't look at her." Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, because he's like, he's so excited that he has a friend that he doesn't yeah. realize that. Like, I can kind of understand it from that perspective, but also like, come on, you gotta, well, like, she got to she's gorgeous, right? She sat there in front of her, and then or in front of him, and then had left, and then he chased after her, being like, "Someone else that's interested in the occult, I must talk to them," but never. Between those moments, never was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute, and she defended me, and she likes the occult, and I'm, a, you know, it was yeah. more just a, someone who likes the occult, I must talk to, and then from there, it's just been a constant one thing after another, I suppose. Well, and, and it might be a thing of, like, he like I, I never subconsciously gotten this far. <laughs> realized that was, she was cute, but it never really, like, yeah, it's never really started to occur to him, because that wasn't important yet, because he's just like, friend! Even during the, uh, like, underwear section, right? Where it's like, uh, here, take my clothes. I can't look at you. It's awkward. Yeah. Like, there was nothing about, like, her looks. It was just, she's in her underwear, I guess, yeah. right? I'm yeah. an awkward guy. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, it's just like a young kid that's not, you know, he's he's so excited about a friend, he's looking over the fact that his friend is a girl for a little bit of it. And then it's like, wait, my friend's a girl. Oh, my God, what do I do? Yeah. And he can't even yeah. look at her. Like, <laughs> I didn't think about her as a girl. And I was wondering, like, you called it with the one girl starting the rumor, but I was wondering if it was the ex-boyfriend from the first episode. I thought it might that, have been. That could have also been, like, starting nasty rumors to, like, get back at her. Mm. And maybe we wrap around and bring him back. But it works at the, it's this girl as well. Yeah. Because, like, Being mad about the she is, tub on the head and yeah, stuff. She oh, is yeah. full of herself. <laughs> so beautiful, heaven. Blessed her and chose her. Oh, God. It is it is a cool thing that the the balls gave her the ability to sp see spiritual power because they're so chock full of spiritual life or something yeah. like that. Balls are so full of life, life energy. I suppose, yeah. yeah. And spirits, and yokai, and stuff like that are convinced that that life energy is going to bring them back to life. Yeah, resurrection. Yeah. So you take that energy and just splash it all over you or something. It'll use it somehow. Take no. it in, take Don't it in in some way. Don't you spit take at me? <laughs> Delayed spit take. Um, yeah, I, Ira's just like, cr just crazy how how into herself she is. I'm so beautiful, but I'm also so kind, except for when I'm not. It's nice to give the lamos <laughs> help, or yeah. hope, right? Yeah, yeah. The people who never have a the chance. The lunks. <laughs> yeah, give them hope. the blockheads. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the. I liked Ken standing up for ISA on the mm -hmm. rumor thing. Yeah. And then I also liked that we got to see her perspective, like her side of things of like hearing about it. Yeah. And then she's like, 
Like, she seemed excited, but being like, then why is he avoiding me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because she doesn't know the, the, you know, she's like, oh, he stuck up for me. That's another thing of, like, pushing them in the romance angle. <clears throat> but she's not realizing that, like, he's finally, like, hitting that moment of, like, oh, of God, realization. I don't, I don't know what to do nerves. next. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do I do with this? Yeah. He's, he's just, like, fallen back in a little bit where he had kind of, like, opened up. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of reverted a he's little backslid bit. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Just just a little bit. But in the in in his backslide he did stand up for her in a big way mm-hmm. and put a squash to some rumors pretty tough cuz mm-hmm. uh those kids aren't going to make fun of her anymore mm-hmm. or say those things anymore. Yeah. If he's going to pick a kid up that's a foot taller than him. Yeah, right. And scare him that way, which that's his, great. his transformation it remi- man, it reminds me of another Another anime, and I can't think of it right now. It has to do with like blood and vampires, and somebody people in the comments will know right away. But I really loved seeing him transform, like from the mouth come around, mm-hmm. where the scarf like I just thought that was a. It's really like it cool, came like, forward and like and like became a mouth yeah. and like closed. Mm-hmm. That looks really, really cool. cool that moment. And then I also liked watching his just like hair change and like. Mm-hmm. I I do wonder if the other kids were able to see that. I don't like, think they. They kind of talk about the spiritual energy. They talk about like being able to see the red woman or not being able to see the red yeah. woman. Yeah. So I wonder if that is still I guess in that realm. Like he doesn't change for everybody. He just changes for those who can see him change. I guess. Yeah, I think yeah. I think that's probably <clears throat> the case. Is like that's a spiritual transformation, less of, like, a physical one. Sure, so they just saw him holding him, and yeah. he had strength, but they didn't see a, a difference in him. Yeah, they didn't see the mouth. The, yeah, the mouth his tone of voice changed, in and he picked him up, and then he dropped him to his knees, Yeah, yeah. was, like, yelling at him, but they didn't see anything else. I do wonder about the lady relationship with I- I- Ira, when Ira? she was a kid. Ira? Yeah, does it just, does it just look like her? I yeah. feel like it just looks like her, and it's not actually her from when she was a kid, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it also because she, she like never, her. she never said that her name was Aira. Yeah, but she also didn't say like well, we I had love the, you, mommy. Or well, we also like, had the little flashback where she, where she was a little kid, and like she grabbed the what looked like a homeless person's hand. I feel like that was from the the spirit's perspective, though, right? Could be. It could be for whenever they died and their kid, and that's why they become... So it seems like the acrobatic silky is a type based yeah. off of maybe, like, the way they died mm-hmm. and, like, their feelings, and that might be, like, that might have been her kid in it, and we think it's Ira. Like, you have categories of them, and they all get, like, similar power bases or something like that. Maybe. Yeah. Based off of, like, if you died as, like, or maybe you a mother a- that misses their child you end up you're, you're more likely to end up like this versus somebody with vengeance ends up like maybe you can get a speedy silky granny. or you can get an acrobatic woolly maybe. or something you know yeah, i don't know like I don't yeah know. they might change they might change the that kind of thing but i i would guess that it's the way they die kind of depends on what kind of ghost they form maybe or their emotional standpoint yeah you know, versus just like maybe what they're feeling when they get hit by a bus Versus yeah. the fact of getting hit by a bus. That, that's what sure. I, I guess that's more is what that I mean is like, like what the circumstances and how they were when they died. Because that's kind of that how it is. Kind of continues in like supernatural as well. Like the conditions of someone's death, kind of forms what kind of spirit or entity they're going to be in whatever. Sure. You know. So yeah, it, 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 yeah. It, that could definitely be a hmm. a flashback that isn't <laughs> actually hers, but it's the Maybe. the ghosts. She did say, the one thing that threw me for a second was she said, like, oh, when I lost you, like, ten years ago or something like that. Like, is the spirit aware of how much time has passed? And is she just trying to find a girl that looks similar that would be about the right age to then fixate on? Or Or, is there more backstory that we don't know about yet? Or has the spirit just been attached to a young kid, try to get them to see them, and then move on when they get too old? You know. Yeah. What's interesting, interesting too, is that they said that the ball will allow the spirits to see them mm-hmm. and be drawn, and probably drawn to them. The way she was talking felt like you can finally see me, and that I've been seeing you. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, well, I, I imagine we'll find out maybe some more in this yeah. upcoming fight. Which is she going to be useful other than having a lighter? Yeah. I I took it 
for what happened was that there was a spirit and it's confusing this individual for their daughter that they're missing. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's maybe I'm not maybe that's not right. At first, mm-hmm. I thought that this was actually her mother and she turned into a spirit. Mm-hmm. But then, as it went, when she like kind of shifted, I was like, okay, no, maybe it's a spirit that it finds girls that are like Calvin said. And maybe they just switch, you know, find yeah. a girl, try and have them see them. It doesn't happen. Find yeah. a new girl. Do the same she, thing. She switched really quick from from the mean girl to Miss Ayase. I was like, well, she didn't say it, but you can, yeah. you know, say I love you, Molly. It, exactly. That's kind of where I definitely switched to that. I think they just yeah. kind of rotate. And I would imagine this ghost this is still younger kind of, because yeah. Turbo, the way Turbo Granny's talking to her. There's one thing about this that I think might end up aging the show is it uses a lot of really modern slang, which I think makes it very fun and feel very like lived in and real. Hmm. But I wonder how that's going to feel in, you know, if somebody picks up the show in 15 years and those When you say modern slang like 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 what? I guess it's not as modern slang, but it it just like definitely dong? Yes. <laughs> but the, the kids definitely feel like how kids would talk now versus like 10 years ago. Ugh, it's such a lame-o. Like yeah, that kind that, of thing. Kind of thing. Yeah. Lame-o is probably the worst example, but yeah. <laughs> but it just mm-hmm. feels um, like it could can end up dating the show eventually. Gotcha. But in the moment, it, it, it is a huge benefit, I think. Depends it, how well and fondly we look back on this time of, yeah, of, the of way kid p- culture. Because Greece is is like, sure, it's very dated, but it's also like a timeless story, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, some of that I think can be ignored. Yeah, I think it, I think it would be. I'm just wondering how that'll end up looking eventually yeah. because it's it's written really well because it feels like kids. It does. It feels like teenagers. But are in, actually interacting. in ten or fifteen years, is it going to be like, oh, this is definitely teenagers from then or not? Mm. That's what I'm curious about. Do teenagers act like in the future? Then is the uh, question. I don't know. Are they still going to be interested in balls as much as this? Probably. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> Can they please? Guys, thank you so much for watching Dan to Dan with us. We will be back next week with another episode, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And uh, you can see more over at blindweb.com with full length and uh, reactions and all kinds of stuff over at blindweb.com. And update recommendations. At blindweb.com. Other things that we can check out at blindweb.com.